Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. I was talking a little earlier about uh, body language and facial language that help people to pick up the emotional state of other people. And um, I thought I would give an example uh, using a recording called Valhalla Calling, the trio version that's very popular on YouTube. And I will attempt to make my face express Viking daring do. And so you can compare my face um, as it is normally on the videos to this, this, chi this altered body language that I'm using. Um, so the only thing is I can't use the music. But I'm going to listen to the music and play the music and use the different sort of facial changes and I'll start off with the drum beat like this so that you can sync the music that's already available on YouTube to my facial expression or you can look at theirs and so you can get a notion of how your idea of who I am and what I am might change quite radically when I use these new facial expressions. You know, some human beings, they don't have the ability to pick up on body language. And so they're missing about half of the total language of a human being. One example is, I think it's called Asperger syndrome, that when, when they might struggle all their lives uh, to, to understand what other people feel by way of emotions and not be able to pick up on, on body cues. And uh, another instance is antisocial personality. And these people, they, they learn body cues of other people and read them very well, but they have a different set of moral imperatives from, from most people. More of the idea that whatever they do is perfectly okay, and, and less of the notion that there are such things as social opprobrium and laws of, of ethics. And so, they will pick up on other people's body language and emotional states without having those emotions themselves. And consequently, they're able to express those kinds of emotions and fake those kinds of emotions when what they really want is to pursue a con game or something of that nature, you see. So understanding body language is, is critical to understanding human language. All right, and being able to make our face and our our hand movements and the, the musculature of our body express what we really intend, what we really feel, is important to fitting in to the world community. That's how I feel. So, what did you think of the facial expressions? Am I suddenly a Viking, or am I still a, a light worker? Mm -hmm. Morning doves are all lined up on the telephone pole wire and they've been listening and a tit came over here and perched over here and asked me what it was. It said it, could, it remembered what, it, what kind of music that was. And so I just asked them, they're, they're all sitting there looking at me like they're wondering what's up and I asked them, what's up? They said nothing, just just listening. So I kind of think if you were to play this kind of music outdoors, and or maybe even better, perform this kind of music outdoors, you would have a, a, a wonderful audience in the birds. Absolutely. They'd really enjoy it. Would you enjoy it? They said it's kind of noisy, but we like it anyway. Yeah, the puppies in the neighborhood were listening raptly, and I just asked them, what, do you th what did you think of that, guys? Real good. Real good. Can you hear it? And before they said, I liked it quite a lot. <laughs> you know, if you're going to do this thing at night, bring your dog along. Yeah, really. God bless you all, and keep you safe. 
and be with you through all your days. In love, light, and joy, this is Alice B. Claggett. I am of the stars, and so are you. Come and visit me at my wonderful website, Awakening with Planet Earth, https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com. You know, I think 40% of the websites on the World Wide Web today are WordPress websites. So those folks are, are really terrific by way of helping people express themselves with the written word and the video online, especially if they're very good at helping young people. Now, one other thing, you may be wondering what this medal is. This is a St. Benedict of Nursia medal. It has on it the cues, like the, the letters, beginning letters of, <laughs> of the Krug Sacra, Sitamihi Lux, um, saying that helps ward off demonic influences. By de demonic influences, one way to interpret that is to think of people who have been overlit, not with the normal mammalian spirits, nor with the, the angels that consort with human beings, but rather with the types of devas that generally instruct other sorts of beings on earth, such as insects or reptiles and so forth. And so their code of behavior their, and their body language have to do with what would be normal for insects or reptiles, something like that. So, so St. Benedict of Nursia was a regular saintly human being and it, it helps to be reminded always to, always to behave in such a way as he would be proud of. What is that? Oh, it's a songbird up there.